Hi everybody and welcome to JLB Art's latest creation, Wolves and Dreamcatchers. This latest piece was commissioned from a loving husband and will be a gift to his wife. I hope you enjoy. To create the illusion of really dark, dense, black space sky, I use several thin layers of indigo blue with a darker layer of museum aquarel black on top. I do find that this black is the most dense. Moving on to the moon, the last colour in the series of this moon was the white Museum Aquarel. This gives it um, the illusion that it was kind of glowing in the night sky and that was the effect I was going for. this point apologies I forgot to set the camera to keep recording and went off to do something came back and forgot to press record so we've got half of the wolf's head already in place this fur is built up from dark to light so a lot of the darker tones were added first the browns in the tone of the fur followed with the beiges and then on top was a white just to blend it all together As I moved on to the feathers that were hanging down from the Dreamcatcher, I was using lots of lovely tonal shades of reds and oranges to really complement and then add in the aqua blue from the night sky. This kind of pulls everything in together and gives it real structure throughout the piece. I'm working continuing on the background at this stage using a selection of pencils Fabier Castel Polychromos which are my go-to and also the Karen Diash Museum Aquarel pencils I used a lot in this piece I find their colours are really vibrant they're easy to blend together and they layer really well so more feathers creating that illusion of night sky the effect of a sunset now coming in around the bottom with mountains and trees. Moving on to the second dream catcher, I've used the same colour palette throughout this piece. It really draws your eye around the portrait and gives a sense that it's all pulled together. Um, I've absolutely loved working on this. The size is A3 and it was the brief of Native America. So I hope I've managed to pull that off. I've absolutely loved having free design and creativity on this piece. It's been a really special treat for me as an artist and I've loved it.
final part of this portrait was to incorporate a second howling wolf in the corner. This pulls the portrait all together and really gives it that final piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and thank you ever so much for all your love, shares and support. I've been absolutely blown away by the amount of attention this piece has had. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and feel free to share. Thank you.